YouTube fam, it's Kiana and welcome back to Kiana's Creative Closet. So y'all, this is going to be a quick video. I know I always say quick videos, but I like to jibber jabber. <laughs> but no, this one is going to be quick. Y'all see I'm in my nice comfy moo moo. So I'm trying to rush through this and enjoy the rest of my Friday. Laying around, eating popcorn, having a drink and watching movies like I do every Friday for the last few months <laughs> so let's make this quick this video is definitely about your winter essentials your um pieces that will be great for the <laughs> for the winter months the colder months if you are like me and you live in an area where you have all four seasons it is cold right now it is in the lower 30s right now where i am so if you live in these areas when it comes to winter the most you're basically going to see of people passing are their accessories. So that's for your outerwear, your shoes, your bags, your hats. So I definitely want to touch basis on that. Um, and then we're going to throw in a few clothing items as well. Um, I'm probably going to just add pictures either on the screen beside me or either I'm going to do very short video clips styling some of the pieces. Um, uh, some, a lot of the accessories I'm not going to style because it speaks for itself. <laughs> you should know what to do with it. But if you think that some of you are interested in seeing, stay tuned for the video. But if you are new here and you love fashion like I do, please subscribe down below. Turn on your notifications so you can be notified of my new videos. To my new subscribers and my OGs, welcome back my loves. Thanks for the continued support. So let's hop into it. Okay, my love, so we're not going to go in any order. I'm just going to start pulling some of the accessories that I feel a girl should have. So let's talk about um, the first accessory will be your shoes. So we all know in the colder months, you, most people, if you're in cold, colder climates, you're basically covered. You're trying to keep as warm as possible. You're trying to keep comfy as well as still being fashion forward if you are that fashion girl. You know, because some people just, you know, they it's all about warmth. <laughs> but with me, I want to be warm, but I still want to be very, very cute and very fashion forward. So you definitely need a good coat. You definitely need um, good boots, a nice scarf nice gloves a nice hat so we're going to just go in order with some of the pieces that i have here in my closet so where i am we do get snow we just had a big snow blizzard and that has been the first one in two years we have we got a little snow last year and a very little snow the year before but this year <laughs> we had a snowstorm that was on monday sunday night going into monday and then we just had a small snow not i can't even say storm we had a small dusting last night that fr froze over into the morning so we had a lot of ice this morning so i definitely would say <laughs> if you are in those areas where you have snow ice sleet you definitely need you a pair of boots but fashion forward boots, honey. <laughs> so I would definitely say go for a combat boot. That's why I have really been into combat boots lately. They are so practical because they are fashion friendly <laughs> as well as they work in um, serious weather conditions. So I'm going to show you some of my fave for this year. Oops. Some of my fave for this year. Well, one of my faves for this year. My top fave. And you will have saw this in my 2021 faves. Favorites. And they are these boots here. These are very, very trendy. And very fashion forward. I just put one down. But um, I love that this boot has the lug sole. So if you do run into anywhere with slippery, ice, sleet anything like that um this grip will you know do well for you because the grip is all the way around it it's not a smooth bottom smooth bottom <laughs> y'all know i can't say certain words but it's not a smooth bottom um it has grip so you won't get that you, you'll get that traction where you won't be slipping and sliding over the place but this sole is not taken away from the style of the boot so i love that it's still chic it's still 
um classy it's it's cute i wore it last weekend too well i wore these actually out on sunday i thought it was gonna snow a little bit earlier i'll pop up a picture somewhere let me move over a little bit i'll pop up a picture or a video on my side but yes these are definitely good for cold weather so now on those days with um cold but it may not be um slippery or rain snow or anything like that and you want to look cute you may be dressed up going to the office or you may be going um to dinner with your your husband or your wife or um your girlfriends or whoever and you just want to look cute i will go for a pair of long knee-high boots i will opt out of booties during the winter now booties are still good during the winter if you have on dresses i will wear them with tights or leggings or something like that or jeans but when it comes to you wearing those dresses and you're dressing up i will say a knee-high boot and i'm going to show you some of my fave these are my favorite knee-high boots and i picked these up last year from nine west they're my favorite because they're very very comfortable for the heel to be this skinny and this high they are comfortable they are comfortable because i have other boots that are about the same heel height that are very uncomfortable but these ones are very comfortable so they are my face so i would say for the winter months you kind of every girl should have a knee high boot it doesn't have to be i mean over the knee boots and thigh high boots and stuff like that they're not as popular now but i still feel like you need those as well <laughs> depending on the length of skirts or dresses that you wear I'm not a big mini dress type girl, so those will work fine for me. But I do feel like you should have a good knee-high boot in your wardrobe for the winter. They don't have to be black. They can be brown. They can be white, cream, yellow, pink. Take your pick. <laughs> but you definitely need a good knee-high boot in the winter. And I would say um, if you have the budget to go for a real genuine leather um i know some people are against that so i hope i'm not offending anyone but if you don't have any reservations on um when genuine leather i would say pick up a pair because they're going to last you and last you and you won't have to keep buying a new pair every year also if you're somewhere where it gets really really cold you're definitely going to need a pair of gloves so i am so happy that they have decided to bring back leather gloves honey <laughs> leather gloves i love them i think they're so stylish i used to love to see my mom and my mom and my um aunts and and and, and aunties and stuff with leather gloves on back in the day i think this was probably the 80s era but I used to love, I used to see pictures of my mom with these long leather or short leather gloves and furs and nice hats. And I was just so in love. So when they brought that back, I decided to pick me up a pair. If y'all been watching me for a while, y'all know I got these from Eloquy late last year. I haven't gotten a chance to wear them yet. Because to be honest, I got them at the end of the season last year. Didn't really do anything last year. Haven't really done anything this year. But I'm going to wear these, baby. Maybe I'll take them with me on my photo shoot and do something sexy with them. Now, these aren't <laughs> that practical if it's really, really cold. Now, you're not going to be shoveling snow <laughs> in these faux leather gloves. No, no, no. This is only for a fashion statement. So, this video is natural essentials for cold weather for like... Um, practical things that when it's frigid outside or you're going to shovel snow or clean off your cars or you know it's below zero these are just your fashion forward if you are that fashion girl these are pieces that will carry you through the winter where you can still look cute and you can still look fashion forward but still keeping some warmth without losing out on style so these are for me now, on those days when I'm going to shovel snow, it would definitely be a pair of cotton gloves with, 
or genuine suede gloves, leather gloves with the wool in the inside. And they're very good for if you um, have those coats that are like poncho styles because the arms are kind of loose, you know, kind of like that. So you can have some of the cover your arms as well because they're long gloves. Okay, so next would definitely be a good scarf. Um, I had a ton of scarves. I don't <laughs> know where they are. Um, I'm not sure if they're in a bin somewhere tucked away. But I'm just going to show you two that I were able to find. Um, I'm probably going to have to buy some more. I'm probably going to order some from off of Amazon. But scarves, honey, you need a scarf. If you're anything like me and you like to wear V-necks or you like to have your neckline a little bit more open um, in the colder months, you're going to need a scarf. That's just me. And then some of the coat styles nowadays, they kind of like flap over or the wrap around coats and you still have this open so this is one that i picked up from walmart and it's very very big and then it has the little tassels at the end of it this is very very warm it feels like a blanket like the throw blankets um that you throw on the end of your couch or the end of your bed so it's very comfortable the only thing about this you have to be very very careful when you're wearing black if you're wearing a black coat black wool coat black jeans do not wear this because it will be all over the place or black anything cat and <laughs> that this will stick to do not wear it um and that's why i wish i would have found my bin because i had kind of like those silk um material um or faux silk or wool 100 wool silk blend um, those are good for any side, whether you have them black, cat, and whatever. But this is for um, if you just maybe having jeans and maybe a turtleneck or something like that. I would go for something like that. Also, um, this little shawl here. Let me see if I can put it on. I'm sorry, this little collar right here. I'm trying to stick it under my braids. This is a, actually a collar that came on a coat that my best friend gifted me. Um, this is very warm. I took it off the coat. I sometimes put it back on the coat if I'm wearing it. It came on a leather coat, but a lot of times what I do, especially when I have a coat that is kind of high neck, but it still has a little room in this area and it's really cold, I just use this and I'll cross it over like this and then I'll stick it down in the coat. Because to me, this gives a little bit of pizzazz, that kind of furry look. Um, and I think it just would be, it's very, very cute. And this doesn't pick up any lint or anything that you can just tuck in to your wrap over coat. And, you know, it just, I don't know. It just looks, it looks a little classy to me. Just imagine a coat sitting here and, you know, this you know high up on your neck it's very very warm um but j just get you a nice scarf they have the very huge um scarves and affinity scarves and stuff like that that you can purchase on amazon that is where i get most of my scarves okay so now let's talk about hats you definitely need a hat in the um fall and winter time but especially the winter because um when you have your head exposed it's so easily to catch it's so easy to catch a cold so you definitely want on those really cold days you want to have on a hat you want to have on your hood you want to have on something protecting your head and your ears so especially with me with box braids um i went out the other day without a hat and my the top of my head was freezing so my choice of hats would definitely always be a fedora baby <laughs> a fedora how's it looking yes a fedora honey um i have so many fedoras a lot of times i always forget to wear them and then when i get out of the house i mean like I, i'm always like why didn't you wear your fedora but this is my style of hats of course your ears are still um unprotected but for some reason this brim is kind of protecting it just a little bit but if you need a little bit more protection for your ears definitely wear a beanie i'm just not a beanie type girl i'm taking this off because i don't want any makeup to get on the brim it's already a little bit i don't want extra so if you want more ear protection wear a beanie beanies are stylish as well i'm just 
not a beanie type girl because I have a round face and a big head. <laughs> so they always look weird on me. So, But you can always do a beanie if you're not a fedora type girl. But fedoras have been around forever. They're going to always be stylish. And they're so easy to style. You can just have on a plain black turtleneck, a black pair of pants, a pair of flat boots, and throw on a fedora, honey, in a nice coat. And you're instantly fashion forward <laughs> so yes um the next thing that you have to have is a good coat a good coat i tell people all the time if you don't buy anything else during the winter months girl get you a coat you don't have to have a thousand coats like me <laughs> but get you one good coat get you one good coat girl and it's going to carry you through because just like i said at the beginning of this video that's majority of what you see your accessories your accessories now i'm not going to tell y'all what type of purse to buy because any purse will do well in in the the winter months um, to be honest, I would prefer if, if I had, if I was going to introduce a purse in this video, a tote bag would be really nice because your hands free and you can put your hands in your pocket to keep your hands warm or a crossbody bag would be nice too. Now you can do, I wouldn't do a top handle, but I probably would do one of the bags where you can kind of put here just so you can have, you know, your hands free so you can keep your hands in your pocket pockets if you need that extra warmth but yes a coat definitely i always for a long time before i really had the resources um i would always save and save and save so i could give me a nice coat during black friday <laughs> um i would do that now money is a little bit more plentiful um, so I'm able to buy quite a few coats each year and I do I buy a few coats every year this one is an oldie but goodie I got this the year before last but I love this coat I'm definitely going to put a clip somewhere on the screen over here with me wearing this coat this coat is beautiful houndstooth you can never go wrong wrong with houndstooth it's a double breasted and it has the tie belt i know i'm not always in frame but it's very long it goes past my knees it's like at mid um mid shin um but this coat is beautiful i need to take it to the cleaner so they can get some of the puffs off because i have already worn this so much already this season um and i took it i got it from the cleaners but i need to put it back in the cleaners because i didn't want it probably about eight to ten times since i got it out and i only had it out of the cleaners for a maybe a month and a half so i get a lot of wear out of this this is so pretty with colors oh my gosh when you're wearing like that pink um sweater or purple or blue or yellow or red oh my gosh with this black and white house too over it. it's just gorgeous of course it looks good with your blacks and your whites and just your basic colors it's black and white it can go with anything but it is extremely pretty when you have a pop of color on with it oh my gosh i'm definitely going to do a small short video with me with this coat on it is gorgeous best buy ever if i would have did a best buy of 2020 19 that would have been the coat now these clothing items we're definitely going to run through very very fast because i mean they're just stuff that i think everybody probably should already have in their closet and if you don't <laughs> run out and get you <laughs> something similar but the first thing would definitely be turtlenecks turtlenecks you have to have turtlenecks in the winter because that is definitely the time when you want to protect your neck. Now, I tell you all the time, I wear V-necks and I wear um, crew necks or, or boat neck tops, anything with lower cuts all year round. I just risk it. That's why I always have a bunch of scarves in my um, closet. But if you, you know, I still have turtlenecks because I still know on those very frigid days, I have to have something protecting my neck. So I have them in so many different colors. This this is just only a very small fraction of the amount of turtlenecks that I do have so you know I have a tote one here I have a very light cream colored here I have a baby blue here and even a print this is a printed one that I got from 
H&M. Did I get it last year? I think I got it even last year or the year before last. But it's kind of almost in the house type of print. Um, and it's very pretty. This one is very interesting. So if you are a girl that love your blacks and your whites, you still can wear your blacks and whites, but just something a little different, something a little bit more staying out-ish. This one is a thin. I like to buy the thinner turtle nest because I feel like you can layer them. When you buy them thinner, you can layer them under like your V-neck sweaters, your blazers, things like that. So I don't like to buy real thick ones, but I do have my share of thick ones as well. So you definitely need a good turtleneck. Also, my loves, you do need a good knitwear. You need a good sweater. You have to have a good sweater because if you don't wear um, sweaters during the spring, some people still wear sweaters during the spring. A lot of people wear them, uh, most people wear them during the fall. I don't really wear my sweaters until it really gets cold. So I, you know, I buy a lot of sweaters and say I'm going to wear it in the fall, you know, um, so I can get my money out worth, I mean. I'm sorry, get my money worth. But to be honest, I never pull out sweaters into the winter. So you got to have a good sweater. I got this one from Target. I'm sorry, y'all. It is. Let me see if I can turn the light down. I'm sorry, y'all. This is white, but um, it's just a white V-neck. I should have probably pulled out one with a little bit more color. But I just wanted to show you the style of sweaters that I like. I love um, V-neck sweaters, and this is a V-neck. Let me pull out another sweater for you. So you also want to have a good sweater. Um, I'm going to show you this one since I just showed you the turtlenecks. So this one is kind of like your best style turtleneck. It has the um, high neck, um, but it doesn't have sleeves. So these type of sweaters are good to wear those thinner turtlenecks that I just showed you. Um, they're perfect because they're thinner, so it's not going to add. This is already a very heavy knit. This is a very heavy knit, so you don't want anything bulky under this. So those style of turtlenecks are very good for sweaters like this. This one is a good choice because it covers your bum. Sometimes when it's cold out, you just want extra warm from head to toe. So you can have on those nice pair of jeans that nice um, pair of um, trousers and still have this covering your butt to give you a little bit more warmth and you're good to go but you have to have heavy knit or some type of knit if it's not as a very heavy one you need a knit that you can layer things under under it to keep warm so another another um, item that I'm just getting really back into because for um, and that's sweater dresses but for a long time I started to feel like sweater dresses were very dated. Um, I started to feel like very churchy, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I felt very churchy in them or very like, oh, I'm going to work um, and I'm a librarian. <laughs> no shades of librarians, but I just felt very, very conservative in sweater dresses. I'm sorry, did I say skirts? I hope I said dresses. I felt very conservative, so I stopped buying them all together. I had got rid of all the ones I had in my closet. But this year, for some reason, I've been feeling them because they have been bringing them back out in different textures, different shapes. Um, you've been seeing a lot of the ribbed um, sweater dresses here lately, whether it's bodycon or whether it's kind of more of a loose fit, but I love the ribbed ones. This one is not ribbed, but I had to show this one. Um, and y'all will have seen this in my 2021 favorites as well because this is a very good dress. So I had to bring it back out. Um, and this is from, I just picked this up recently. They may have restocked. This is from Rev Dolls. But this is the type of sweater dress that's for me. <laughs> this is for me. Now the ones that's a little conservative not so much this is my type so if I'm going to do something sweaterish or a sweater dress it's definitely going to be something that hugs me a little bit more so I prefer this style I would have preferred I prefer this style as well as the the rib kind of like um, body con style and they don't have to be extra tight like fitted fitted but as long as it's kind of more um, 
either structured or curve flattering. I'm <laughs> curve flattering. Curve flattering. It is what it is. But I love this. So you gotta have a good sweater dress. I I also have one more, and this one was a shocker to me. I didn't think um, I would like it much, but I tried it, and that is this one. I'll pop up a picture with me with this on, but this is the one from Eloquy. Um, I had this on recently, so I'll you'll pop up a video or a picture, and it's just an off-shoulder, a one-shoulder dress. A one shoulder dress I can't get it all in frame because I'm sitting and then it has the belt that ties around the waist so I think those are sweater dresses that are more trendier more on trend as well as modern you know it's not um, the dated style of sweater dresses so yeah get you a good sweater dress get one that works for you your your figure um, your lifestyle but I I feel it feel as though it's a good option because if you want to wear dresses you still want to feel warm and cozy so last but not least I didn't even want this to be that long is blazers y'all know I love blazers I wear blazers all year round even in the summer I do I will sweat a little bit to wear a good blazer <laughs> so the first option that I feel like if you are a blazer type girl now I don't feel like this is essential that you have to have blazers in the winter time because I feel like um, essentials for blazers will definitely be the fall that's something every person needs in the fall now in the winter this is not a must-have it is optional but if you do like blazers like me and you do like to wear them all year round, I want to give you two options. Um, and I'm saying it's not essential for winter because you still do have on your coat. So that may be a lot of bulk when you have on maybe a sweater or a turtleneck, a blazer and a coat. But I do that. That's just me. I do that. I have my coat. That's why I buy um, oversized coats. I'll take my coat off and still in the office, especially when I'm at work, if, you know, we're still in the office. I'll have my blazer all throughout the day. So the first option will be this. Will definitely be this. This is a leather blazer that I picked up from Eloquy last year. They have this um, also this year. The cut is a little bit different this year, but it, they basically look the same. I just prefer the one from last year. I feel like... It looks better. I'm just sorry. Um, it doesn't have as much sheen. Um, this one doesn't have as much sheen in, in, as the new one um, does. And it's to me, it's a more of a relaxed cut. Both of them say one of the one from this year say oversized. The one from last year said oversized. The one from this year to me is not oversized. It's not. Um, so yeah, and this is perfect too for people who don't get very very cold winters. Winter. So if you are those people who may live in Atlanta or um, I think Florida starts to get cold end of January into February. Not cold, cold, but they get some cold weather. So if you live in those areas where you don't per se need a coat, it's very good to have a good blazer. And I would definitely do leather because it's going to keep you a little bit more warmer than something of just cotton. And... And the last one, this is the last blazer and the last item I'm going to show you. The last one will be this. And this is just a suede. This is genuine suede. This is a suede blazer. Let me fix it on the hanger, y'all. So y'all can get the look. This is a suede blazer that I picked up a couple of, a few years ago. Maybe about three years ago. I picked this up from the thrift store. It is genuine leather and suede. Um, and this is a Ralph Lauren. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Is this a Ralph Lauren one? Yes, this is Ralph Lauren. Because I'm like, I know I had a Ralph Lauren brown blazer. This one is Ralph Lauren. I picked this up from the thrift store for pennies. And I love it. When I first picked it up, I was like, mm, not sure. Because brown just became a thing, I think, last year. So, people weren't really gravitating to brown. And I'm going to be honest with you, I used to hate brown, <laughs> dark brown, chocolate brown anyway. So, um, now I'm glad I picked it up because it's, it's a thing now. <laughs> Everybody wants a chocolate brown blazer, coat, dress, shirt. <laughs> so, I'm glad I picked it up. 
but this is definitely something also that you can wear to opt out from a coat if you live in climates where it's not cold enough to wear a coat but you need something to keep warm so all right my loves that brings me to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed these the pieces that i shown you and the pictures or videos um if you have stayed this long please like the video it really does help all right see you in the next one